would you do if a nightmare was happening to you over and over and over again and nobody believed you? I'm in sound and I saw the Twilight Zone season two, episode 17, 22. It is directed by Jack Smite, written by Rod Serling. And if you haven't seen this episode, I will spoil it for you. This episode starts, we're following Liz. She wakes up in a hospital bed and immediately she accidentally shatters a glass of water she hears some footsteps, she goes down to figure out who is doing the footsteps, and then she figures out it's a nurse, follows the nurse, and the nurse goes to a room called Room 22. That's the title of this episode. Room 22 is a morgue, and this nurse, when Liz gets there, says, there's room for one more. Ooh, it is all creepy. And Liz screams and wakes up, and she's in the hospital bed. She's in the hospital for exhaustion. She's a professional dancer. She's having vivid nightmares that she believes is happening to her. Whenever there's a sign of something that has happened in the nightmare, she starts getting very anxious, tries to correct herself, try to correct her behavior. Like, how about I just try not to touch the glass of water? And then touches like something else. And in the process of trying to get that something else, boom, the glass of water shatters anyway. Now the premise is set up, I'm immediately like, hmm, how would I react in a situation like this? If I was in the same situation, would I be hysteric? She is a dancer and she's in the hospital for exhaustion and I'm not really exhausted physically. She is just working herself down to the bone. I wonder why she's doing that. Why is she working so hard? Maybe it's just that she's trying to use her body as young as it is now to dance, you know, woo, woo. I'm a dancer. You know, all that fun jazz. When she's talking to the doctors, hey, this keeps happening. This is for real. The doctor's like, no, this is not for real. I think if I were her, I would keep insisting that it's real to the point where the doctors think that I'm going crazy and then decide to keep me locked up or something. How far would I go? Hmm. How far would you go? This is a terrifying situation to be in because you think something is real, trying to tell other people that it is real, other people not believing you, and then you see things and you freak out because it maybe happened in your nightmare, but anything could happen in your nightmare. I personally think this is a figment of her imagination, but it feels real to her. I think it is a really strong belief that she has is that these nightmares are occurring. But why though? Why are they occurring? Why are the nightmares occurring? Has she ever thought of herself that? Why are they occurring? Cause I don't know if this episode necessarily covers why they're occurring. They're mostly covering her reaction to everybody else reacting to her. And she's just trying to live, but she's freaking out. And she's like, okay, can I just go a day without the nightmare symptoms happening? Or the night stuff that happened in the nightmares rather? I don't know if I'd be in this situation personally, comparing my lifestyle to her lifestyle. I mean, she's dancing. How often is she dancing that she's in the hospital for exhaustion? Lady, take a chill pill. You can dance all the time. Don't dance for two days a week. You need it, your body needs it to rest or else this happens and now you're having nightmares because she worked herself too much? That's what I'm thinking is happening. It is interesting how she knows that 22 is where the morgue's at and even the doctors are like, huh, that is weird. And I'm like, huh, that is weird. What does that mean? I'm thinking when it first shows up in the episode, I'm thinking, oh, this must be a sign that she will die because why else show the morgue? The morgue is where death is, where you put the dead bodies. She's going to become I'm a dead body and she keeps having these nightmares she gets over it and she has a nice little normal life she goes on the plane the plane ticket has number 22 on it and she's like oh this is weird i don't like this uh i'm starting to get flashbacks to my time in the hospital all the same symptoms are happening again and then she starts freaking out she <laughs> just runs she goes run, she runs into a taxi. She's like, I gotta, I gotta go, I gotta go, I gotta go, I gotta go. I gotta go. And then she goes, she goes into a taxi and it explodes. That's the episode. This is a weird one. I don't know exactly what the lesson is. I feel like with Twilight Zones are at least still like the really good ones, the ones that stick with me the most, they have some sort of lesson or some sort of irony. I mean, it's good. I like it. The actress does a good job, good set piece. 
good directing, good editing, really good writing. I like the dress that she's wearing. I also like the morgue. It has like a weird aura to it. I don't know how to describe it in words, but it's weird and it's creepy. And the nurse is weird and creepy. And I don't know what this means. Is this supposed to be the bit? Is that this episode, she doesn't know what her life, what's going on in her life. She doesn't know what that means. And so it's reflected in the episode. I don't know what it's supposed to mean. Someone in the comments, please let me know. Please explain. Other than that, it was pretty entertaining. I enjoyed watching it. It enthralled the entire time. It was very, it was a mis mystery that I just couldn't hand stop, but keep watching. It was awesome. It was fun. Clear some things up for me in the comments below. If you got anything, let me know what you think of this episode of The Twilight Zone. I'm going to give this episode, it's a solid 7.2 out of 10. If you like this, if you watch another on the platform, really like said $20 deals at patreon.com slash ASM presents for a one movie review for one month. Go to his link tree to support the daily grandness of all them daily movies and go here. And until next time, it's not saw. I'll see you later. My salad croutons and bacon bits. Yeah, here we go. Adios. What is that over there? I see a sentient 22. It's a 22 that's sentient. I'm gonna say hello to it. Goodbye.